So one day I ran outside and saw a watermelon, so I ran to it. I picked it up and then ran it back to my house to open it up the only way I knew how, with rubber bands. I put some rubber bands on it and then I got a sheet for when it breaks. <laughs> and then I continued placing rubber bands on it with the help of my brother and it was starting to actually work. I kept doing it and then my brother drew a face on it. Henry! And then we just kept going until eventually we ran out of good rubber bands. So I was left with no choice but to run out in the rain, get in my car, and drive to Walmart. I got there, got my rubber bands, and then headed back home to get back to placing them. <laughs> and eventually I could even see the indention in the watermelon. And then I actually predicted it. <laughs> it's gonna bust. When? Any second. Oh god. I just know it. Oh. Instant replay. <laughs> and it left this water rubber bands. Like for me to turn it into a rubber band ball part two. Part two, putting rubber bands on a watermelon. So it exploded and left us with this water rubber bands. So I decided to turn it into a rubber band ball with all the leftover rubber bands. I began by making the water a lot neater and I discovered this. There's watermelon inside this. So I did my best to get it out and then kept making it neater and then eventually started placing actual rubber bands on it. <laughs> and after a while, I took a break to go shoot some hoops with it. And let's just say it's not a basketball and I ended up breaking my backboard more than it was already. And then I waited till the next day at like 2 in the morning to start trying to place more rubber bands on it. I finished my pile and started placing another bag, and eventually I was down to the last one. And to be honest, it was a lot of time for very little difference, but I got another bag anyway and started placing them. I finished it up and I had a ball, I guess. Let me know if I should even keep doing this. Part 3 of making a rubber band ball. So this watermelon exploded and left us with this water rubber bands. So I turned it into this actual rubber band ball. And now we're here and I'm out of rubber bands. So I went to Walmart. I got some rubber bands and then went home and emptied them out and opened up a bag. And got busy. But after a little bit I left and then came back the next day. And finished off the pile. And then I dumped out two more bags and started placing them. But I got bored and ended up leaving and coming back again the next day to finish it all off. I placed rubber bands forever and then I went outside to test it out on my broken hoop. Yeah, it was hard to play with but it bounced really high. Here's it next to a basketball. Yeah. After that I went back inside to finish off the pile and then I dumped out another two bags and started placing rubber bands for what felt like an eternity. And I was finally down to the last bag. I put them all on and I was done. And it's pretty big but it's going to take like a million likes for me to keep going. <laughs> Part 4 of making a rubber band ball. So this watermelon exploded and left us with this water rubber bands and I've been adding a lot of rubber bands to it. And I said it would take 1 million likes for me to keep going and it got 4 million. So I went to Walmart, got more rubber bands, and then left, went home, set them down, and opened them up. And then the next day I got on that rubber band grind, placing the entire pile on the ball. And when I was done, I left and came back again later to place another bag on. And once I finished that ball, it was pretty big like the size of my head. I weighed it and it weighed five pounds. And it also bounced pretty high and made a decent basketball for my broken hoop. And after that, my brother wanted to play some bands, so I let him, but he gave up and I ended up having to finish his pile off. And after that, I only had one more big pile left, so I dumped it all out and started placing them. I finished it up and then started on the bag of thicker rubber bands. And now I'm out. This sucked a lot, and since the last post got like 4 million likes, it's going to take like 5 million likes now for me to keep going. Part 5 of making a giant rubber band ball. So I've been making this rubber band ball, and I ran out of rubber bands, so I went to Walmart. Got a bunch more rubber bands, and then I went home, dumped two bags out, put some gloves on so I didn't break my skin again, and started placing the bands. And then left and came back the next day to finish off the pile. It looked pretty good so far, and then I forgot to video placing a whole nother bag. But it looks like this, and then I dumped out all the colored rubber bands and started placing them all on the rubber band ball. And I was done, and it was almost the size of my head and weighed 8.2 pounds. And bounced pretty high. And also made a decent basketball, like if you want me to keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball, and it now weighs 8.2 pounds, but I want it bigger, so I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands, then went home, dumped them out, put some gloves on, then emptied out two bags of colored rubber bands, and got busy placing the entire pile. And after I finished the colored rubber bands, I dumped out three bags of normal rubber bands and placed that. I placed a bunch, but then left and came back the next day to place some more. It got tiring, and I placed a lot of rubber bands, so I left took another break and came back and started on it again. I was sure to place the whole bag this time, but I got too tired 
and had to leave and come back again the next day to finish it off. So, that's what I did, and I finished it up. And it was done. It weighed 10 pounds, was bigger than my head, and bounced pretty high. Like if you want me to keep going. Part 7 of making a rubber band ball. So I've been making this ball, and it's pretty giant now and weighs 10 pounds. But I wanted it bigger, so I went to Walmart, got a bunch of colored rubber bands, then went home, dumped them out, put my gloves on, and first finished off the pile of normal rubber bands that was already on the table. And once I was done with that, I dumped out all the bags of colored rubber bands and began placing them. I did this for quite a while, and the ball was finished, and it was huge. And it now weighs 11.9 pounds and is almost the size of a basketball. And it also bounces pretty high. And I also shot it in the hoop. <laughs> and now I'm officially finished with it. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> so I've been making this giant rubber band ball and it now weighs 11.9 pounds and is the size of a basketball. And I was going to stop, but everyone wanted me to keep going. So I went to Walmart, got some more bands, then went home, dumped them out, put some gloves on and got back at it. I started by placing the pile of colored rubber bands because it's easier to place. And once I was done with that, I weighed it and it was 12.9 pounds and still bounced pretty high and made a good basketball. Then I went to Walmart to get more colored rubber bands, but they were out. So I just got the normal ones and went home, dumped that out and placed that entire pile. I finished it off and it was now 13.4 pounds and still the size of a basketball and still bounced pretty high. <laughs> like if you want me to keep going and just see how big I can make it. <laughs> Rubber band ball part 9. So a lot of people don't know that it started when this watermelon exploded and left me with this water rubber bands. And ever since then I've just been adding on to it and this is the entire compilation up until now. And I needed more colored rubber bands so I went to Walmart but they were out. So I got gas and went to a different Walmart. But they were out too so I went to another one and they finally had some. Then I went home, dumped out a bag, and then got busy placing the entire pile of rubber bands until I was done. And then I left and came back later. I dumped out the colored rubber bands and placed that entire pile. Then I found some more rubber bands in the floor, placed those, and then placed a bag of thicker rubber bands that I also found in the floor. And I was done. It now weighs 14.7 pounds, is the size of my head, and bounces pretty high. And it's also bigger than a basketball, like if you want me to keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball and it's pretty big now, but everyone wanted it bigger so I went to Walmart to get more bands, but they were out so I went to a different Walmart and got some. Then went home, set down a pile of bands, and got busy placing the entire thing until it was done. And then I dumped out a few more bags and first placed the bag of smaller rubber bands and then the bags of thicker rubber bands until I was done with that. And it now weighs nearly 16 pounds and still bounces pretty high, but it's hard to catch now <laughs> and it makes a decent basketball. Like if you want me to keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball and people seem to never want me to stop. So I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands, and then went home to start placing them. I dumped out the little bags first and began placing all of those until I was done. Which took a while. <laughs> then I left and came back later to place all of the colored rubber bands. Which took even longer, but now it looks pretty. I left again and came back to place the last bag of thicker rubber bands. And it was finally done. And it now weighs 17.5 pounds, is bigger than my head, and is pretty hard to catch when you bounce it. And now it's noticeably bigger than a basketball, like if you want me to continue this ball. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball, and to be honest, at this point I'll probably never stop. So I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands, then left, went home, dumped out all the colored rubber bands, and began placing them. Until I was done with the entire pile, which took a while. But I did it, then took a break, and came back later to start on the pile of normal rubber bands. And I placed that entire pile covering all the colored rubber bands. So sad. Then took another break, came back, and dumped out all the thicker rubber bands, and began placing them. Until I was out. And the ball now weighs 19.2 pounds and is a lot harder to throw and way harder to make a basket with. Yeah, it's pretty big, so like if you want me to keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball and it's getting pretty huge and I'm probably not stopping. So I went to Walmart, got all the colored rubber bands they had, then went home, dumped out the bag of normal rubber bands and placed that entire pile, which was kind of hard because of how big the rubber band ball is now. Then I took a couple days off and came back to place all eight bags of colored rubber bands, which took a while, a long while. But eventually I finished, and it's huge now. It weighs 21.6 pounds, and is a lot harder to throw and catch than it used to be, and almost impossible to make a basket with, like if you want me to keep going. So I've been making this rubber band ball for way longer than I thought I'd be, and I'm just gonna keep going. So I went to Walmart, and they were out of rubber bands, so I left and came back a few days later, and they had some. I went home, dumped them all out into a pile, and started placing them. And it's honestly just so satisfying to watch the pile go down. And when I was done, I left and came back later with a new bag that I ordered on Amazon. And the band seemed good, so I placed the entire pile until I was done. And it now weighs 23.6 pounds, is way bigger than my head, and it's really hard to throw, and even harder to make a basket with. But I made one. 
like if I should keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball and I'm just gonna keep adding rubber bands every time Walmart restocks. So I went there, got a few more bags of colored rubber bands, then went home and started with the two bags I ordered on Amazon. I placed the entire pile until you couldn't see a colored rubber band in sight. And then I left and came back later to place the colored rubber bands I got at Walmart. And I placed it until I was done. It's huge and now weighs almost 26 pounds, is super hard to throw and really hard to catch, but I can still make a basket with it and even stand on it now. Well, kinda. Like if you think I should keep going. So as you probably know, I've been making this giant rubber band ball. And I needed more rubber bands, so I went to Walmart. But they were out of the ones I needed, so I went to a different Walmart, and they had some. Then I went home, dumped them all out, and got busy. And sped up, this all just looks really cool. Anyway, I finished that pile, and took a break and came back later to finish this bag I ordered. And sadly, it's a lot less colorful now. But I'm done, and it now weighs 28.3 pounds, and bounces decently, and I also made a basket. Like if I should keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball for quite a while now, and I'm out of rubber bands, so I went to Walmart, and they had so many colored rubber bands. I got them, and then went back to carry even more, and then left. I went home and started with this pack I ordered, and I placed the entire pile. And done. And then I took a break and came back later with all the colored rubber bands. I dumped them all out into a pile, which was a lot, and got busy placing them for what felt like an eternity because this is probably the biggest pile I've ever placed. And it's huge. It now weighs 30 pounds, is way bigger than my head, is pretty hard to throw and almost impossible to make a basket with, and I can even stand on it. Like if you think I should keep going. So this is part 18 of making this giant rubber band ball and I'm just gonna keep going. So I went to Walmart and got like nine packs of colored rubber bands, then left, went home, and dumped them all out into a giant pile and got busy placing them. And I placed the entire pile, which took quite a while. And then I left and took a break and came back later with this bag. I dumped it out and placed that entire pile. And eventually I was done. And it weighs a lot. It's bigger than my head. It's pretty hard to make a basket with. I can stand on it and really hard to throw. Like if you think I should keep going. So I'm back at it again with the rubber band ball. And I need more rubber bands again. So I went to Walmart and counted out like 12 packs of rubber bands in the floor. And then grabbed them all and went home. And I first started with the pack I ordered on Amazon to match the surface of the ball. And after I was done with that, I took a break and came back later to place all the colored rubber bands. I dumped them all out into a pile, which was a lot, and then began placing them for quite a while. Until I was done. And the scale said it weighed 39 pounds, so I double checked on another one and it said the same thing. It's really hard to throw and officially impossible to make a basket with now. But I can stand on it, kinda. Like if you think I should keep going. So I'm now to part 20 of this, which is crazy. And I'm just going to keep going. So I went to Walmart and bought all the colored rubber bands they had. Then went home and dumped them all out into a pile. And then I got busy placing them until I was done with that pile. Then I got the two packs I ordered, dumped them all out into a pile, and began placing them until a ball was finished. And it now weighs an astounding 42 pounds. It is very hard to bounce now, and... It's basketball days are just over. But I am getting better at standing on it, so that's cool. Like if you want me to keep going. So I'm now on part 21 of this rubber band ball, and no one ever seems to want me to stop. So I went to Walmart and bought all the colored rubber bands they had. Then I went home and started out with the bag I ordered on Amazon. And I placed that entire pile. And then I took a break, as usual, and came back to place all the colored rubber bands. And I dumped them all out into a pile, and then placed it all, which took quite a while. But I finished, and it now weighs 45 pounds. Could probably take me out, and I broke my already broken basketball goal with it. <laughs> but hey, I can stand on it. And like if you want me to keep going. So I'm now to part 22 of this, and everyone just wants more, more, and more. So I went to Walmart and bought more. I bought all the packs of colored rubber bands I could carry, and then I went home and dumped them all out into a pile, which was a lot. And then I got busy placing all the bands, which took so long I almost quit. But I didn't, and it's done and now weighs 48 pounds. And it's like three times the size of my head and can even crush a can of Flex Seal. Wow. And I'm also able to fully balance on it now, like if I should keep on going. So it's now part 23, and I'm really starting to think it's never going to end. But that's okay. I went to Walmart and, you know, bought a bunch of colored rubber bands. Then went home, dumped them all out into a nice pile. And then I started placing them, and it's to the point now where the bands sometimes break and it hurts. I took a break, as usual, and came back to place this bag I ordered on Amazon. And I placed it, and the ball now weighs over 51 pounds. Could probably kill a bear, and is no longer a good basketball. More like a chair. Here's it next to a basketball. And here's my trick chat. Ooh.
Bye, Kipachi. Keep on going. So it's now to part 24 of making this rubber band ball, and I went to Walmart and got more colored rubber bands. I got a bunch and then went home and started out with this new pack I ordered on Amazon. They're pretty cool and more stretchy than the normal colored rubber bands. I placed that entire pile and then took a break and came back to place all these other colored rubber bands. I dumped them out into a pile and then placed the entire thing until I was done. And I also ordered this little rubber band ball just for fun to look at and stuff. The big one now weighs 55 pounds and is pretty hard to get down the stairs. And compared to the little one, they bounce similar, but I can stand on this one and not on this one. And I can toss this one, but not this one. Like if you want me to keep on going. So I'm now to part 25 of this giant rubber band ball and everyone just wants more and more and more. So I ordered these new rubber bands on Amazon and they were way too small. So I got sad and then I went to Walmart and bought a bunch of colored rubber bands and then went home. Then I, you know, dumped them out into a pile and started placing them, which took longer than usual for some reason. But I finished, then took a break and came back later to place these other colored rubber bands I ordered. I placed that entire pile and the ball kind of looks like Spider-Man now and weighs 57 pounds. I took it downstairs and outside, then threw it and sat on it and it's also way bigger than my head and I can stand on it. So like if you want me to keep going. So I'm now to part 26 of making this giant rubber band ball and I'm gonna keep on going. I ordered these bigger rubber bands on Amazon and they weren't as small as the last ones but they were still really hard to stretch around the ball and I dumped them all out into a pile and placed it and it was harder to place than any other pile I've ever placed. <laughs> and it was exhausting so I left and came back the next day to place two more packs of them and I placed that pile and it now weighs 61 pounds. I took it downstairs and compared it to this ball, then threw it, and then stood on it, kinda. More like sat on it. Anyway, like if you want me to keep on going. So I'm now all the way to part 27 of my rubber band ball, and I need more bands. So I ordered these big rubber bands and started placing them. And these bands are really hard to place, so this was really exhausting. <laughs> so I took a break and then came back later to place these colored rubber bands and make it look good. <laughs> I placed the entire pile and it now weighs 65 pounds. I let it roll out to the cul-de-sac, picked it up, threw it down, then tried to stand on it, then threw it again, and then my brother tried to stand on it. And like, if you want me to keep on going. So it's now to part 28 of making this giant rubber band ball and I ordered more rubber bands. I dumped them out and placed them. And when I was finished with that, I got out these garbage bag rubber bands that I ordered that are also pretty colorful. And then I placed another pile of those ones. <laughs> And it now weighs 68 pounds. I took it downstairs, out to the yard, into the cul-de-sac, and look at it next to a basketball. Ordinary basketball and hoop, rubber band ball and hoop. <laughs> tossing basketball, tossing band ball. <laughs> but I can stand on this one, like if you want me to keep on going. So it's now part 29 in this rubber band ball, and I guess I'm just going to keep going. I ordered another box of these thick rubber bands and put the whole pile on my ball. I then took a break and came back later to place all these colored rubber bands that are also supposed to be garbage bag rubber bands. I placed the entire pile and it was done. And it's now 72 pounds. I rolled it downstairs, outside, and into the cul-de-sac. Here it is in comparison to my head. And here's me trying to throw it. And look, the basketball hoop fell over. But I can stand on it. And like if you want me to keep on going. <laughs> So I've been making this rubber band ball for a long time and it's now part 30. And I ordered another pack of these big rubber bands and placed the entire pile. And after I was done with that, I got the pile of even more of these big colored rubber bands than I did last time. And when I was done with that, the ball was looking pretty good at 76 pounds. I took it out to the street, picked it up and threw it the best I could and then tried again. And I ended up just laying on it and then standing on it. So like if you want me to keep on going. So I'm now to part 31 of making this giant rubber band ball and I got another package. I dumped out this pack of pretty big rubber bands and placed the entire pile. And then like I did last time, got a bunch of these colored garbage bag rubber bands and placed them all. And these ones placed pretty good. I finished and the ball now weighs 81 pounds. I took it downstairs and out to the cul-de-sac where I compared it to my head and then got up and tried to throw it. And then I tried to throw it behind me and then stood on it and even tried to ramp it but just broke the ramp so like if you want me to keep going and comment any ideas you have for it so now to part 32 of this rubber band ball and i'm probably never stopping honestly i bought another one of these packages put it in a pile and placed it <laughs> and then i got out all the colored rubber bands that are actually meant for garbage cans and i placed that entire pile as well and the ball now weighs 84 pounds and i took it out to the street and because my wrist is kind of hurt i couldn't really pick it up but here's it next to a basketball and then we walked off together in the sunset like if i should keep on going so I'm now all the way to part 33 of this giant rubber band ball, which is insane. And I got another box. I placed this entire pile of rubber bands, which wasn't that bad, and then dumped out all these colored garbage bag rubber bands. I had them in a nice pile and then placed them all one by one until I was out. And it now weighs over 90 pounds. I took it out to the cul-de-sac and tried the best I could to pick it up and throw it. And then I stood on it and this time I actually didn't fall off it. I jumped and here it is next to my head and here it is rolling. Like if you want me to keep on going. 
So I'm now all the way to part 34 of this giant rubber band ball. And it's getting kind of redundant, but I'm going to try to keep it interesting. I ordered these bands, placed them on, you know. Then I got the other pile, which is these colored rubber bands that I actually have to untie first and then place them on the ball. And after placing this entire pile, it now weighs almost 95 pounds. I struggled to make it out to the cul-de-sac. And it's so heavy, it even picked up grass. Then I picked it up and threw it. And look at it in freeze frame. Look how big it is. It's so big, there's really not much you can even do with it. Here's it next to a basketball. Here's it crushing one and then falling off. And then me trying to stand on it, but failing and crushing the basketball goal. So so uh, like if I should keep on going or comment what I should do. So it's now part 35 of my giant rubber band ball and I decided to change up the scenery a little bit. I dumped out a whole box of rubber bands of different kinds. I started by dumping these colored garbage bag rubber bands into a pile and putting these gloves on so I don't hurt my fingers and putting all the rubber bands on and this happened right into my eye socket. <laughs> And it hurt, but I kept on going because the rubber band ball wasn't going to make itself. I finished off all these colored ones and then dumped out these purple ones that I ended up not using because they were kind of trash. I got out these ones instead and placed the entire pile. And I was done and exhausted. The ball is almost 100 pounds now and it's a pretty big struggle to get downstairs. Took it out to the street and barely picked it up. Yeah, it's getting pretty hard to throw now, so I just sit on it and stand on it. Like if you want me to keep on going to 100. So I'm now all the way to part 36 of this giant rubber band ball. And let me know if you want to stop, but for now, I'm going to keep going. So I got this new pack and, you know, placed that entire pile on the ball, which was pretty exhausting. So I took a break then came back later with all these colored rubber bands that I dumped into a pile and placed on the rubber band ball. And I was done. And it might have broke the scale because it reads 102 and 103. So I don't know. Then I took it downstairs struggling. I rolled it off into the yard and into the road. And just look at this ball in comparison to my head. It's massive, and it's getting pretty hard to lift and throw. And like, if you want me to keep going or just cut it in half. So I'm now to part 37 of this giant rubber band ball. And it's getting pretty giant, but everyone still wants it to be bigger. So I ordered more rubber bands, dumped them into a pile, and started placing. And then this happened, because it's getting hard to place them. But I kept on going, finishing the pile, and then I took a break and went outside to play with the ball in the snow. And there wasn't much snow, but I made as big a snowball as I could, set it on the rubber band ball, and then crushed and it. And then I came back to place another pile. I dumped it out. And then I placed it a little bit differently this time. I just threw all the bands on the ball. Bam. Magic. And the ball actually broke the scale and the scale won't read anymore. So I don't know how much it weighs. But I took it out of the cold sack and it's just pretty heavy. So like if you want me to keep on going. So this is rubber band ball part 38. And this ball is getting giant. And I'm going to keep going. Got a bunch more bands, you know. And I tested out these new bands that didn't end up working. So I just ended up going back to these colored rubber bands. And the camera cut out. And I lost all that footage of me putting on. So here's me putting on the last one and then taking it downstairs. And the ball now weighs 109 pounds. I took it outside and it ran into a bush and then i set it on top of this swing and started swinging it and it was pretty cool and i tried to knock it off but couldn't the most it did was that and then i just got on it and kicked it off and it's so heavy i can barely pick it up anymore let me know if you want me to keep going so i'm to part 39 of this giant rubber band ball and i can't find any other type of rubber bands except these ones to place on it so let me know if you have any other options but for now i'm going to keep on placing these and i placed the entire pile of color rubber bands until i was all out and then i took the ball outside to mess around with it and it was snowing so i just laid on the ball and caught the snow and i can't even lift it over my head anymore because it weighs like 110 pounds and then here's me breaking a basketball goal with it and here it is next to a basketball and then me standing on it and let me know if i should keep on doing this so I'm now to part 40 of my giant rubber band ball and I wanted to walk you guys through the entire process. I take it upstairs and into this room where I sit down and place rubber bands. I'm actually running out of the type of rubber bands I can place because these ones are just too tiny and break on me. And these ones are just getting old and I have to untangle them every single time. But no worries, I found this random custom rubber band site on the internet and called them up. Yo, I need your 15 inch rubber bands. I'm gonna place an order for like 25 pounds. And just like that, $200 worth of rubber bands was on the way. But for now, I'm going to place these ones. I put them in a pile and then untied them all and got to placing them. And I placed the entire pile of colored rubber bands until I was all out. And after that, I took it downstairs, which was a struggle, but I got it. And I weighed the ball in at 113 pounds. I then took it to the street to try to pick it up. And I can get it up to here, but it's too heavy to get over my head. So I just laid on it, like if you want me to keep on adding bands. So I'm now to rubber band ball part 41. And my 25 pounds of rubber bands got here. So I took it upstairs along with my giant rubber band ball. I took it all to the room where I placed the bands. And then I threw that on the package and opened it up. And each bag weighed 5 pounds. I dumped them all out and the bands were pretty good. So I dumped out 10 pounds of bands and got to placing. And it was a lot. So I had my brother help me with this one. And we were going for so long my phone even cut out because it ran out of storage. But we finished eventually and then took it downstairs. I got it all the way down and then weighed it in at 120. 23 pounds i took it outside and just look at it next to a wheel and next to my head and here's my best effort at trying to pick it up i can barely do it anymore let me know what else i should do with this ball
So one day I rolled my rubber band ball back upstairs because I'm now at part like 42. It weighs like 123 pounds and I dumped out three more bags, which is like 15-ish pounds or something like that. And me and my brother got to place in them. And this was the most amount of bands I've ever placed. So we took a break and took it out to the snow. And I made a snowball, then threw it at it and then rolled it around in the snow, rolled it over this hill and then picked it up and dropped it. Then the next day I got back to placing, which was a huge pile that took me a long time to place, but I got it. And the ball was a bit deformed afterwards, but it's okay. It weighs like 139 pounds now. And just look at it next to my head. Like if you want me to keep on going. So I'm now to rubber band ball part 43 and I got another box of rubber bands. I dumped them out and these bands are even thicker than the last ones. I then dumped out another bag and got to placing them. And it was way easier to place these bands because they're twice as thick and I got a lot more done with less time. I finished it up and then I took it all the way downstairs to weigh it and it weighed in at 149 pounds. I then took it out to the street to try to pick it up and just look at it next to my head. It's huge and I couldn't pick it up. Like if you want me to keep on going. <laughs> So one day it was rubber band ball part 44 and first I had to get the ball out of the zip line. I got it out and then I had to carry it all the way upstairs. I made it up and then I took it to the room where I placed all my bands and got to place them. I placed the entire pile of like 15 pounds of rubber bands for quite a while until I was done and I carried it all the way downstairs and weighed it in at like 164 pounds. Then I took it out to the street and just look at it. It's massive. Can't pick it up. I just can kick it. Like if you want me to keep on going. I'm now all the way to rubber band ball part 45 and I decided to do it outside today. And my rubber band ball also needed bands bad because it was looking kind of gross. <laughs> and I placed bands out in the nice weather for quite a while. And just enjoying life, you know, placing rubber bands until I was done. And the ball now weighs more than me at 174. It's getting impossible to move, so I just lay on it. And yeah, like if I should keep going. So it's now rubber band ball part 46. And now I just take the rubber band ball outside to work on it because it's too big to just keep inside. I had my pile of like 15 pounds of rubber bands and placed the whole pile for a long time until I was all out of bands and pretty tired. And now the ball weighs like 190 pounds almost. Here I am trying to jump across it and then fly and I can't pick it up. And I'm going to have to order some even bigger bands. So like if you want me to keep going. So it's now part 47 of the giant rubber band ball. I let it hit a ramp and then got out 25 pounds of bands and dumped them all out into a pile and started placing them. And this was a lot of bands, the most I've ever placed. So I thought, how could I do this more efficiently? And I had the idea, pay someone. So I paid two friends that day to finish up this pile. And they got busy placing a lot of bands while I watched occasionally and then switched in and out even once. But then they kept going until eventually they had a much smaller pile left and just threw that pile on and it was done. And it now weighs 213 pounds. And I also decided to spray paint it because I saw a comment that told me to like if i should keep going so i'm now all the way to rubber band ball part 48 i dumped out five five pound bags of rubber bands and got to placing with some help because this was going to take a long time alone and this was a lot of bands we kept placing and eventually had all the blue paint covered and then eventually we got tired and took a break and then came back and finished off the entire pile until there was no bands left put it on the scale and it weighed in at almost 240 pounds and it takes two people to pick it up like if i should keep on adding bands to it so I'm now to rubber band ball part 49 and I have 25 pounds of rubber bands again. I dumped out the whole pile and when we began placing for a long time, as you can tell by the clouds going by in the background, this took forever. But eventually we got the entire pile done and the ball is completely massive. I weighed it in at 263 pounds and look at me sitting on it and then falling and we can barely pick it up together. Like if you want me to keep on adding bands. <laughs> So I'm now all the way to rubber band ball part 50, which is literally insane. So I'm just going to place another pile and see how heavy I can get it. Right now it's at like 260 pounds. We placed for a long time, which was getting kind of exhausting. And be sure to comment any ideas you have for this rubber band ball now, because it's getting pretty heavy to do anything with. But we finished and we weighed it in at 287 pounds. The camera just doesn't do it justice. And then it fell on me and I exaggerated fall, but then it actually hurt my foot. Like if you want me to keep going. So I'm now to rubber band ball part 51 and it is huge. I didn't get quite as many rubber bands this time though because there was a delay in shipping this week. But the ball's close to 300 pounds now and I want to get it there. I placed this entire pile all the way until my phone died and stopped recording. But I still finished the ball and tried to weigh it but the scale was being weird and wouldn't tell me any accurate numbers that made any sense. But I'm assuming it's close to 300 pounds. And the ball almost tried to roll into a car. Like if I should keep going. 
So it's now the one year anniversary of me starting the giant rubber band ball from an exploding watermelon. And ever since then, you guys have kept wanting me to add bands, so I have, all the way to now, which is part 52. I also bought a new scale to weigh the ball and a watermelon to crush at the end of this video with the rubber band ball. The ball currently weighs around 300 pounds, and this is like 25 pounds more of rubber bands we're adding. And the camera did keep cutting out at times due to the heat, but we kept on placing bands until the entire pile was gone. And we tried to weigh it, and we couldn't quite tell, but we think it was like 320, and we tried to pick it up, but we couldn't. So we had to roll it onto the watermelon and completely crushed it but it was pretty good like if you want me to keep on adding bands one day on part 53 of my giant rubber band ball series i thought it was like any other rubber band ball video placing a bunch of bands but the clouds began to move in after a while placing rubber bands it began to pour and the rain just kept coming down harder and harder so i got the bean back to safety and then had to come back for the rubber band ball push that over 300 pound rubber band ball through the rain and into the garage and then went back making two trips to get all the rubber bands to place it in the garage i shut the garage door dried off the rubber band ball and we got to work placing all the rest of the bands until we are eventually done and the ball now should weigh like 340 47 pounds like if i should keep on going so one day on rubber band ball part 54 i loaded up the giant rubber band ball with my brother and we drove it out to a warehouse where i would store it i let the rubber band ball out and stopped it and this is its new home and then i dumped out a bunch more bands to begin working on it that night and my friend and i got busy placing as many bands as possible as the night began to get darker now i'm in the process of getting another scale for this thing so i can get the exact weight perfectly but it's massive and weighs around 370 pounds i rolled it around ran with it and then rolled it back like if you want me to keep on adding bands. So this is rubber band ball part 55 and I dumped out another 25 pounds of rubber bands and started placing. And I actually have a new scale on the way. They can read all the way up to a thousand pounds and I think the ball will be 400 pounds after I'm done with this pile but we'll have to test it when the scale gets here. I launched some of these bands and then I compared the ball next to me and it is completely massive and there's no chance I can pick it up anymore. But it's way easier to stand on than ever before and I can even like flip off it. This ball is just completely crazy so like if you want me to take it to a thousand pounds. So it's now rubber band ball part 56 and I bought a thousand pound scale the way it and it weighs in at 396 pounds but we gotta get it to a thousand <laughs> so my friend and i began placing a giant pile of bands for what felt like an eternity and got dark and we kept on placing until we were completely out and now we gotta weigh it but first i wanted to test standing on it so i ran on it like a barrel then i did that then stood on it and then fell again and here it is next to my head. Then I put it back on the scale and it weighed in at 422, then 428. So I don't know, but like if I should keep on adding bands. So I can't believe this ball's still going, but I'm at rubber band ball part 57. And I weigh it in at 422 pounds, but I'm going to keep on adding bands and make it even bigger. And a lot of people wonder why I wear gloves. And it's because if I don't, the bands will rub against my hand and create blisters. And I kept on placing bands until we were completely out. And look at it. It's huge. I can stand on it with ease now, but not pick it up. And it's tall enough to use as a platform to fall off of and flip then i tried to do like this rolling trick shot and just fell on my butt but i did make this dunk off of it and this basket and it was finally time to weigh it in at 447 pounds it is massive like if i should keep going so it's another week and i'm on a rubber band ball part 58 and i weighed it in at 446 pounds and then i had to keep on adding more i dumped out a whole nother box of bands and got to work and i kept on placing for about an eternity and ran through multiple pairs of gloves but eventually we made it this thing is now so big the camera just doesn't justify how big it is i was gonna do a backflip but ended up just doing that and then i rolled it over the trampoline fell off of it and here's just a quick size comparison next to a ball pit ball then i put it on the scale zeroed it out and it weighed in at 472 pounds so like this video if you want me to continue building it so i'm now to rubber band ball part 59 and it's almost at 500 pounds so i got out another box of the 15 inch bands to see if i could get it there and this was one of the most challenging rubber band ball videos because the bands were super tight and kept breaking and it was also really hot so we ended up having to take a day and come back to finish the pile and while we were placing bands we talked about how weird it was we were even making this but it's also super cool just look at it here next to me i measured it 30 inches high and like 98 inches around and then rolled it and it almost took some stuff out then i tried to make a basket off of it but failed then it was time to see if it was 500 pounds but it fell three pounds short so then i just rolled it off like if i should keep on adding bands and i'm now to rubber band ball part 60 and we started off trying to do backflips but failed so then we weighed it in at 496 pounds and i used a lot of rubber bands to build this giant rubber band trampoline but i had enough left over to get it over 500 pounds we took a little break and then came back and we finished off the entire pile and it was done the bands are now getting really tight in the ball and look at its size comparison next to a tire and then i tried to crush this watermelon but missed and crushed the pool instead tried to get it out a lot of water came out and it wouldn't crush the watermelon so then i just took it inside fell on it and weighed it at 515 pounds so like if i should take it to a thousand pounds <laughs>
So I'm now to rubber band ball part 61 and the ball is over 500 pounds, but I guess everyone wants me to keep on going. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. My friend Brendan and I, we placed band for a while, then left and came back the next day to place again. And this happened. A band broke and made him launch backwards. <laughs> so I had to help him back up and then we got back to placing. And I think this is Brendan's last time placing the rubber bands on the ball. But after way too long, we were done and the ball is huge and the bands are way too tight. Just look at me standing on it and then trying to bounce stuff on and it. And I finally rolled it back on the scale and weighed it in at 541 pounds so like if you want me to keep on going <laughs> So it's rubber band ball part 62 and I wanted to try something a little bit different this time. I took about five pounds of bands and looped them all together like this with the help of my friend and we had this long strand that we tried to wrap around the ball but it was kind of hard so I rolled it and that was still pretty hard and the bands kept falling off but eventually we got it. But we wanted to test if the same amount of bands was better just placing the normal way and after we placed that pile we realized it was. So we got out three more bags and placed the entire pile. And these videos always take so long to make so leave a like if you actually want me to keep going and adding on to this ball it's just huge now just look at it again next to a basketball and then we put it on the scale and weighed it in at 555 pounds so again like if i should keep going so i'm now to rubber band ball part 63 and we built this lego tower to knock it over with the rubber band ball it completely knocked it over and then i weighed the ball in at 555 pounds and then we got busy placing more bands to make it even heavier i had a whole box dumped out and my friend brennan helped me place all these bands and to make it go faster we tried to do two and three bands at a time and these are like the max custom length bands i can find so i don't know what i'm gonna do after this but we were done and the ball is now at an unreal level of massiveness it about crushed this four then almost hit brendan and we weighed it in at 580 pounds so like if you want me to keep on going this is rubber band ball part 64 and it can barely fit through a doorway and here it is next to a tire. I rolled it to the other end of the warehouse and then decided to crush a bunch of poppers with it. Here it goes. And after that I rolled it onto the scale breaking this little wood ramp and weighing it in at 585 pounds. And it was now time to get the ball over 600 pounds so I dumped out a bunch more bands and then look at this other angle. The ball is huge and the camera just doesn't do it justice how big it is. And my friend helped me place bands for so long until eventually the pile was out and the ball was done. I rolled it over the bean bag and then used it as like a giant exercise ball that's just huge and weighs like 600 pounds. I crushed this ball pit ball and then pushed it with the hoverboard onto the scale and weighed it at 605 pounds. So like if I should keep on going. So I'm now all the way to part 65 of my giant rubber band ball and here's a little rubber band ball being thrown on it and then me pushing it to the scale to weigh it in at 607 pounds. Then we threw down another pile to keep on placing and make it even bigger and people ask me all the time what my goal is for this ball and I don't even know. I'm just going to try to get it as big as possible. It always takes way longer than it looks to place all these bands but eventually we got it done. I tried to push it with my hoverboard and kind of worked. Then we put it back on the scale and it was like 30 pounds off so it actually weighs like 634 pounds. So like if you want me to keep on going. So I'm in a rubber band ball part 66 and the ball is huge. Look at me behind it. You can't even see me. And I put it on the scale and it weighs 630 pounds, but we're going to get it even bigger and keep on adding bands. And my friend Brennan and I began placing bands for a very long time. And a lot of people say it looks like an egg now and not a ball, but it's very hard to keep it round because it's so big. And we try our best. And after we finished with the pile, I messed around with it, tried to throw balls on it, and then dunked with it. And I compared it next to this tiny rubber band ball and my head, then fell off of it, and took it back on the scale to weigh it in at 655 pounds. So like if I should keep on going. So I'm now to rubber band ball part 67 and we actually made a couple more tiny rubber band balls. Here they are on a mini trampoline and the big one was too big for it. So we just put it on the scale and weighed it in at 655 pounds. And now it's time to make it bigger. I dumped out a whole nother pile. Then my friend and I got to placing bands for a really long time. And the bigger this ball gets, the harder it is for it to look bigger. So we got to add a lot of bands every time. And we finished up the pile and then I wanted to test if it would go through a doorway and it wouldn't. It's too big now. And I failed trying to get it back on the scale. So we had to both push it on the scale and weigh it in at 679 pounds so like if you want me to keep on going so one day it was rubber band ball part 68 and the rubber band ball is now almost 700 pounds but today we're gonna get it there and somebody in the last video commented to get colored rubber bands so i got these black rubber bands so you can see them placed on the ball and the cool thing about two different colors is you can see them all going onto the ball and it took us quite a while but eventually we got it done and the ball looks really cool now it looks kind of three-dimensional look at it and the black bands are more sleek than the other and ones. the ball is so massive look at it in comparison to my head and then i zeroed out the scale and put it back on and it weighed 706 pounds so like if i should keep on adding bands. 
So I'm now to part 69 of my giant rubber band ball and it's now over 700 pounds, but we're gonna get it even bigger. I dumped out 25 pounds of bands to place on the ball and I started placing with the help of my friend Brendan. And we actually placed three bands at once the whole time and to make it go by a lot quicker until eventually we were done. I stood on it and then tried to walk on it and tried to walk again. It was actually kind of successful. Then I pushed it over here, dropped this ball on it, jumped on it. And then we tried to figure out how to get on the scale and weighed it in at 727 pounds. So like if you want me to keep on adding bands. So I'm now all the way to rubber band ball part 70. It knocked over all these crates. Then I zeroed out the scale and weighed it in at 730 pounds. And it was time to add a bunch more bands. So my friend Brennan and I got busy placing this entire pile, which took so long. And we ended up taking a break and coming back the next day to finish it. But eventually it was done. And the ball is now even bigger. Look at it next to my head. Me jumping on it. Then me rolling it to Brendan. Him rolling it back even faster. Then dunking on it. And we weighed it back in at 755 pounds. So like if you want me to keep on adding bands. So it's now rubber band ball part 71 and this ball is insanely massive at 750 pounds but we're going to make it even bigger. And this time half the bands are these half inch bands that I've never tested before so we'll see how they go. And the bands were just really tight so we ended up moving the ball to see if it would make it better and it did because none of the bands been placed on that side that much. And it also helped make the ball more even but eventually after a long time we were done. The ball is huge. Here I am trying to stand on it and walk on it and almost fall. I dropped some Orbeez on it, threw a water balloon at it and crushed a water balloon and then weighed it in at 770 pounds so like this video if you want me to keep on adding bands so it's rubber band ball part 72 and the ball's a little messed up from a video that's not out yet but it still weighs 775 pounds so we're gonna keep on adding bands and this time i got these special blue bands and we began fixing up the ball and making it look cooler with these blue bands and we kept on rotating it that way the bands would be spread more evenly and it would be easier to place the bands and after a very long time we were done i about crashed into the wall then jumped on it and dropped my phone now this ball is completely insane here's next to the little ball next to me and then i struggled to put it on the scale but got it and weighted at over 800 pounds like if i should keep on going <laughs> So it's rubber band ball part 73 and I about knocked over a fan with it and struggled to make it over to the scale but weighed it in at 800 pounds but we're going to add even more bands. And the ball still looks kind of broken so hopefully after we place all these bands it looks a lot neater. And the ball is finally getting close to a thousand pounds which is what the scale maxes out at. And we kept turning the ball to make it as round as possible. And after a long while of placing bands we were finished. And the ball does look a lot neater. I jumped on it like this. Then it accidentally moved the couch when I was trying to make it over to the scale. Brendan tried pushing it on but failed alone. So we both had to push it and it weighed 829 pounds then pushed it off and took it outside to show the cows yeah they thought it was pretty cool like if i should keep on going <laughs> So it's rubber band ball part 74 and the ball won't fit through a doorway. It's over 800 pounds and it's looking kind of rough. But we're on our way to 1,000 pounds and we're going to get it We there. dumped out a bunch more bands and we've been using this same band for a while. They still work on the ball but we almost need bigger bands. We kept on placing until it was done. And it's actually getting hard to jump on because it's so tall. I pulled a stray band onto it and then crushed this box and then pulled it to the scale. And at first the scale was acting broken but eventually it weighed in at 842 pounds. So like if you want me to keep on adding bands. So one day it was rubber band ball part 75 and I rolled it across the warehouse and then put it on the scale and it weighed 842 pounds. We dumped out a whole bunch more rubber bands and got to place it. The ball is really heavy and hard to move around so we do our best to not place the bands in the same spot and try to keep it as round as possible. We finished the pile and the camera just doesn't do the ball justice. I've moved it to the distance to kind of get an idea of how big it is and then I slammed into the ball, dunked on it, totally done. And then tried to move it with the hoverboard but failed so I spun around and put it on the scale but we kind of broke it and it wouldn't read. But it's probably 870. So it's rubber band ball part 76, and I tried to prove it weighs 870 pounds, but the scale's been broken, probably from the rubber band ball, but we're just gonna keep adding bands anyway. We dumped out a huge pile of rubber bands and got to placing. And this really is a lot more work than it looks like, band after band for so long. We flipped it to make it cover the blue side, and then we were done. It looks really good, and it's probably within 5 pounds of 900 pounds. Here I am laying next to it, and then jumping on it, and trying to run on it. I pushed the ball, tried to get a run, and then fell, and then did it again. Kinda got one. Yeah, pretty cool like if i should keep going to a thousand so it's giant rubber band ball part 77 i saw these little rubber band balls at the store so i had to buy them all and compare them to my giant 895 pound rubber band ball mine was a lot bigger i opened one up like this and compared it and yeah mine was way bigger <laughs> we're gonna make it even bigger and i'm hoping in the next month i can get this ball all the way to a thousand pounds and we noticed the ball was kind of egg shaped and it made it hard to place bands so we moved it and put wedges down so the ball wouldn't move and placed it like this and it helped a lot it really helped round out the ball and make it look a lot better we placed the final band and we were done and the scale still broke but the ball should be about 920 pounds 
So it's Giant Rubber Band Ball Part 77. And the scale doesn't really work anymore, but it's 920 pounds. We're so close to 1,000 pounds, and we're going to get it there soon. This pile weighs 25 pounds, and we placed the entire thing, which took quite a while, but eventually we were done. And I jumped on it, and sat on it, and laid next to it. Then accidentally rolled it into the bang and drank it anyway. Like if I should keep on going. Snail Rubber Band Ball Part 78, and the ball is so close to a 1,000 pounds. The scale's broke, but the ball should be about 945 pounds, and we're placing a bunch more bands. We eventually rolled the ball to a higher point. That way, it would be easier to get the bands around the ball. We did this for a while until eventually we were done. This band flew in the sky. The ball should be about 970 pounds, and it's huge. My friend Brendan did this, then I fell off it onto a bean bag, and like if I should keep on going. So I'm now at a rubber band ball part 80, and I'm going to add all these rubber bands to my 970 pound ball. And after this video, the ball should be within inches of a thousand pounds. And we don't know for sure the weight because my current scale is broken, but I have a new one that weighs up to 5,000 pounds on the way. Eventually, we finished the pile and it looked like this. It's insane. I crushed a can, then drank the rest of it. And then here's it next to my head, and here's the broken scale, like if we should keep on going. <laughs> Now we're at Bamble Part 81, and I bought this new scale that weighs up to 5,000 pounds. It weighed the ball in at 990 pounds, and today we're going to get it over 1,000 pounds. I also wanted to try some different strategies, these big mover bands and looping these 12-inch bands. I thought looping these 12-inch bands sounded the easiest because you could just loop them together and then wrap them around. We dumped out a bunch of bands like this and then started looping. We looped for a while and decided to go ahead and place one on, and it looked pretty good, so we kept on going until we had the entire pile finished. We ended up with these two giant links of bands. We wrapped one all the way around it, which made me kind of dizzy and then wrapped the other one until we were done and the ball looked pretty good we weighed it in over a thousand pounds finally i was pretty excited so now we just got to get to the new world record <laughs> like if i should keep going so it's giant rubber band ball part 82 and i got a sample amount of these giant green rubber bands to test them out they work really well but for now i only have these rubber bands the ball's just over a thousand pounds and these bands barely work anymore they're way too tight we had to prop the ball up as tall as possible to even fit the bands but after a long time we were done with the entire pile it's a little wonky but here it is then here's me jumping on it rolling around a little bit and jumping off and it was time to weigh it in we got it on the scale and it was going back and forth between 1020 and 1040 like if i should keep on going so this is part 83 of my over a thousand pound rubber band ball. I bought a bunch more of these stretchier bands to try to put on the ball because they're a lot easier than the other bands, but they're way more expensive. And I put a poll on my YouTube to see if people wanted me to keep going or cut the ball in half and 90% say keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. And if I want to beat the world record, I'm going to have to find a cheaper way to add a lot more weight really fast. And the scale wasn't really reading right because we kept knocking it off on accident, but the ball should be around 1,050 pounds. Like to keep on going. So it's rubber band ball part 84 and I got another big box with five five pound bags of rubber bands. And since the bands are too big to get on the ball now, we're going to have to loop them into two giant strands like this. We spent about an hour doing this, looping the entire pile until we had two giant strands. And we didn't know the best way to go about putting them on the ball. We moved everything out of the way and then realized eventually if someone was standing on a chair and then we ran around, it was easy, but it made us really dizzy. Eventually we finished off the entire pile using this method and then for the second pile, we moved the ball over a little bit to add bands on this side and we figured out wrapping around like this was a lot easier and took like half the time and the ball actually looks pretty cool now i stood on it then we pushed it onto the scale and it weighs about 1070 pounds like if i should keep on going it's rubber band ball part 85 and i dumped out all these 12 inch rubber bands to loop them together and place them around the ball my friend brennan and i spent about an hour looping 25 pounds of these bands until we had two giant strands and since in the last video we finally figured out the best method to loop them around that was the easiest part here's the final strand and it didn't take that long until it was completely covered i tightened it on the ball and this is what 25 pounds looks like and here's a painting of the rubber band ball then me next to it then up close and to be honest i don't know how to work this super expensive scale i bought very well but between all the pounds of bands i bought it it should weigh around 1100 pounds and it's a big ball like for me to keep going <laughs> So it's rubber band ball part 86, and my giant 1100 pound rubber band ball needs more bands to get heavier. <laughs> we dumped out 25 pounds of these bands to loop around the ball. And we have to loop all the bands now because these bands are too small to stretch around the ball. And bigger bands than this are way too expensive and really hard to find. But eventually we finished looping the entire piles, which is the longest part, but then began the shortest part, which is just looping and looping until we were done. And then we started on the other one and looped it until it was done. Tied it, and here it is. We rolled it across the warehouse, rolled it off the ramp, and the ball should be around 1,125 pounds, like for me to keep going. 
It's now rubber band ball part 87. The ball is 1,100 pounds, and this is 50 pounds of rubber band. I dumped out 25 pounds of rubber bands, and me and my friend Brendan were going to loop the entire pile. He looped half the bands, and I looped half the bands until we were done, and had two giant piles ready to place them on the ball. We propped up the ball to its tallest form to make it easier to place them around, and then went around and around while live streaming until we had the first pile done and the second pile, and it looked like this. The ball is insane. It should weigh 1,125 pounds, like if you want me to keep on adding bands. It's rubber band ball part 88 and the ball weighs over 1100 pounds. And it's going to take a very long time for us to build this ball up to the world record. So comment if you really want me to keep going. We looped two giant piles of our bands, did some jump rope with one of them, and then decided to place them on the ball. And while we're doing this, sometimes we forget about the fact that we're in front of an 1100 pound rubber band ball. It's kind of crazy. We finished the ball and it's huge at 1125 pounds. Comment your ideas for it. So this rubber band ball is just completely insane now. We dumped out all these bands to place on the ball and got busy looping each one. We looped the pile into two big strands of bands like this. It's really hard to move, but we pushed it to the center and then we're starting to place the big loops of bands like this. And these videos cost a lot to make, so it's really helpful when you like and comment on it. My phone just doesn't do this ball justice of how big it is. It's so hard to push and it's just so cool. And really hard to control because it weighs 1150 pounds. <laughs> So one day I was back at it working on my almost 1200 pound rubber band ball. We had 25 pounds of rubber bands in front of us that we looped one by one into basically two giant rubber bands that we could then wrap around the ball like this, which is honestly kind of satisfying to watch. And at the end, we can also put it on the scale to see exactly what it weighs. Here's the scale that I spent a lot of money on and it's supposed to read up to 5,000 pounds, but it doesn't read right unless you stand in this exact spot. Our first goal was just getting it to the scale, which is hard enough because it weighs over 1200 pounds and, and it's really hard to stop. And here was the real challenge, getting it up the ramp, because the problem is the ball is not perfectly round and it rolls everywhere it honestly looked impossible but we eventually got it in the exact spot and it weighs pretty close to the estimate of around 1200 pounds so like for more <laughs> So one day it was rubber band ball part 91 and today we're going to get it over 1200 pounds. We opened these rubber bands perfectly normally and then we just started looping the giant pile like we normally do. And I'm in the works to get a ton more rubber bands because we're going to have to really increase the production rate if we want to ever beat that world record. We wrapped both strands around one and then two like this and there you can see all the bands we placed. Looks like a ring. I jumped on the ball, stood on it, looked really cool, then pushed it forward a little bit and threw another rubber band ball at it. So like if you want me to keep on adding rubber bands. <laughs> It's part 92 of my giant 1200 pound rubber band ball and we're going to add two boxes which is 50 pounds and more than we've ever added in one video. We had all the bands ready which was a lot and we were ready to just loop them all. I'm slowly going to be bumping up my rate of production that way we can eventually get the world record. We looped the entire pile until it looked like this then wrapped each strand around the ball. There's 25 pounds and here's another 25 pounds wrapped completely around the rubber band ball. And my phone just doesn't justify how big this ball is. It is so insane and so hard to move. The ball should weigh around 1250 pounds now and it's really tall to give you an idea i'm 6'1 and here's me jumping on it. like if you want me to keep on adding bands to beat the world record This is my 1250 pound rubber band ball and it's part 93. Today we're going to be adding two boxes which is another 50 pounds of rubber band which will get the ball all the way to 1300 pounds. This is the longest part where we loop the pile into two giant strands of bands until it was finished and we were ready to add them both on. And I asked you guys to vote on a name for the rubber band ball and the winner is between Pablo and just the rubber band ball. Comment what you think we should do. Here I am standing on the ball and then falling off and I just can't justify how big it is on camera. Like for me to keep on adding bands.
So it's Rubber Band Ball Part 95, and this ball weighs 1,350 pounds. We had it outside and had to push it all the way inside, which was really hard, and then we dumped out all these bands to place My friend Brennan did one pile of 25 pounds, and I did the other pile of 25 pounds, and we just looped them all together until we had two giant strands of bands that we wrapped completely around the ball like this. Another 50 pounds like that. The ball is now 1,400 pounds. Be sure to give this a like for me to beat the world record. So this is my rubber band ball and here's the world record. My ball is currently 1400 pounds and a long way from the record at 9000 pounds. But we looped all these bands, 50 pounds to be exact, until it was finished and then we were ready to place them on the ball to get it one step closer to the world record. And just by leaving a like on this video, you can help aid in the journey to beating the world record. Here I am rolling and then falling off the ball like this and here's the ball in all of its awesomeness.